Welcome back, everybody. So today's differential calculus walkthrough will be dealing with natural log. So that is log to base e. Now, what we'll do is we'll do three questions involving uh, log to base e. And uh, over to the right here, I've just put a couple of reminders about what we all need to be using when we do these questions. So if y is natural log x, then the derivative of y with respect to x is simply 1 over x. Now that will appear in your formula booklet if you have one, otherwise you'll need to remember it. But if you're remembering that, what I want you to do is think of it more explicitly where if you had natural log of a function of x, okay, so just think about a function of x, then the derivative of y with respect to x will be 1 over that function of x multiplied through by the derivative of that function. Okay, so let's see this in action. I have put three questions here. They increase in difficulty. So we'll just start with the first one and then we'll get progressively more uh, challenging as we go through. Okay, stop, take a picture if you need to and work them through and then check back with me to check your answers. Question one, let y equal natural log one minus three x find y prime of two. So this is asking us to find the gradient at y prime uh, two. So in other words, the gradient at two. Um, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna jump straight in with dy by dx. Say the derivative of y with respect to x is simply found by one over f of x. So in this case, that would be one minus three x. That was stated in the rule just above multiplied through by the derivative of this f of x. So the derivative of this would be actually negative 3. Okay, if you differentiate 1 minus 3x using the power rule, you get minus 3. This would result in minus 3 over 1 minus 3x. Okay, but it does say find the gradient at 2. So in other words, we need to substitute 2 into this function. So we will get, okay, I will just write this down, y prime of 2 substitute in 2 into this will be 1 minus 3 times 2, okay, which will result in minus 3 over 1 minus 6. So it's minus 3 over minus 5. Oh, sorry, minus 3 over minus 5, okay, which is just simply 3 over 5. Okay, so that was question 1 completed. Let's go on to question 2. So this time we have a product, and if you watch one of my other videos on products, we'll uh, you'll see the rule that I'm going to use right now, which we'll be calling this one u and this one v. Okay, and it says find the gradient at x equals 1. So I need to differentiate this function and then substitute the value 1 in. So I'm going to start by saying if u is equal to x cubed, then u prime is equal to 3x squared. Okay, now if v is equal to natural log, x squared, then I want you to think about this uh, like using the rule above. So we'll just scroll back up here. Don't forget, when we differentiate a natural log, we have 1 over the function of x multiplied by the derivative of that function. So if we go back down here, then what we've got is the derivative of natural log x squared will be 1 over x squared times by the derivative of this, which will be 2x, and that will result in 2x over x squared, but then one of the x's can cancel with one of the ones on the bottom, leaving us with 2 over x. Now, there is another way you can do that by bringing down the power um, and differentiating it then, but you'll result in this, it, it will come out to be exactly the same. Okay, so let's put this into the product rule formula. So this states that, that v, sorry, f prime is equal to v du plus u dv with respect to x. And if we substitute everything in that we have, which is v, for example, that'd be natural log x squared times by the derivative of u, which is 3x squared, plus u, which is x cubed, times by the derivative of v, which is 2 over x. Okay, so now one of those x's will cancel with that bringing that down to an x squared. Um, I don't really need to tidy up much more because I actually just need to substitute the value 1 in. So I'm going to substitute 1 into this now. So it's f prime of 1 would be natural log of 1 uh, times by 3 times 1, so that would just be 3, um, plus x squared, which would be 1 squared times 2. Okay, now we can tidy this up a little bit further 
Okay, because what we must remember here is natural log of one. Okay, so uh, what, what actually does that mean? It means then, don't forget that natural log is log to base e. And it's saying, okay, natural log of one. So it's like, what do we raise the power e by to give us this one? Now, anything raised to the power of zero would actually equal one. So the result of this natural log one is actually zero, okay? So um, that is uh, rules of logs. So if you are a little bit unsure about that, I would definitely check back and look at your laws of logs, but this would actually be equal to zero. So zero times three would be zero. So this, this whole expression just disappears. And then we have simply have one squared times two. So that'd be two. So the answer is two for this question. Let's go down to part three or question three. So this one's the the more difficult of the three. Uh, we have to show that the derivative of f of x is equal to this expression on the second line. Okay, so we're going to apply our log rules and it looks like it's a, a quotient. So what we'll do is we'll first of all label up u and v. So let's get rid of this here and let's label up u. Okay, as being the numerator and v as being the denominator. So if u is equal to natural log uh, 8x cubed, then u prime will be equal to 1 over this function, right, which is 1 over 8x cubed, multiplied by the derivative of that function. Now, the derivative of that function using power rule will be eight, uh, 3 times 8, so it'll be 24. Um, x squared, but we can tidy that up a little bit more because uh, 24x squared over 8x cubed, the 24 divided by 8 is simply 3. So it'll be 3, and the x squareds will cancel with two of the x, uh, two of the x's on the denominator, leaving us with 3 over x. Okay, so that is the derivative of u. Now, remember, we're going to be using quotient rule here, okay? So we still need to find v. So let's find v is kx and v prime. v prime, that's nice and easy. That will just come out to be k, okay? Because it was a constant times x. Now we're going to plug everything in to the quotient rule formula. So let's go ahead and do that now. So it's f prime of x can be found by doing v times the derivative u minus u times the derivative of v all over v squared and i'm going to substitute everything in so uh everything above that i found i'm going to put in now so that'll be k x for v uh u prime is one over uh is is sorry uh is three over x minus u which is natural log eight x cubed dv which is just simply k over v squared. Now, v squared is uh, k x all squared, okay? Now, they do tell us what we have to uh, make it look like, and that is up here, right? This is this expression, right? They're telling us to make it look like this. So that we've got something to work towards, right? So let's go ahead and tidy this up now. I can see immediately that the x will cancel with this x here, okay, leaving me with 3k. Um, I'm going to do nothing else with the numerator other than just bring the k to the front, like this, okay. And uh, this is all over. Now, just be careful when you do this. Remember, it's kx times kx. So this is going to be k squared x squared. Now that's important because on the line below, what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out a k in the numerator. So it'll be k, and then it'll be 3 minus natural log 8x cubed over k squared x squared. And this is where one of the k's will cancel because that squared will cancel with one of these, leaving me with 3 minus natural log 8x cubed over one singular k x squared. And let's just double check. There's what we were supposed to get, three minus yes. Okay, so this is looking good. And we don't need to substitute a value in. Um, if we did, uh, we would just proceed with the next part of the question. But so far, so good. Um, good luck with your natural log differentiation rules.
don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to see more math tutorials. Check out my playlist on my channel or click one of the videos above. I'll see you next time.